Hey everyone, thank you for stopping by the Be Chic Studio. We wanted to show you our IOD stamps that you can get at www.bechictreasures.com. Today we are going to show you how to use them. They come in 12 by 12 sheets and 36 different knobs. So we're about to get started. This is the Flexi Stamper. It's important. You want to get one of these along with your stamps. I will show you how to use them as we go. I'm going to get these open and we're going to get started. Make sure when you open your first pack, pull tightly. They are so secure, but you can't, you can't damage them. Don't worry, guys. This step is so important. You guys, make sure that you use 220 sand grit. Scrub it one way and then scrub it another before you apply your paint. All of these are new, so definitely use your muscles. Don't be afraid. Line them up and we are ready to paint. So I'm using Licorice from Country Chic Paint. You can also find that on our website at www.bechictreasures.com. Go ahead and blow dry, make sure it's very dry. Remove the screw that it comes with because you're gonna want it to be on a flat surface. So here what I'm doing is prepping that, making sure that it's very dry. It's very important you don't want it to smear. This stamp set comes with two different sizes, a smaller size and a larger size. We're gonna go ahead and use the smaller size today. I'm lining it up here. Um, you wanna make sure that you press it evenly and make sure it's centered before you apply your paint or ink or whatever it is that you choose to use. Then once you do that, make sure that you get only enough on the center you see. You don't want it around the edges or else it will get on the knob and you will not be happy. So go ahead and press down. Make sure it's even pressure. Don't press too hard on one spot and voila! You have one of your first beautiful knobs. Make sure you heat set it or blow dry it. It's really important. You don't want your beautiful knob to smear. That was so fun. I'm gonna try another one. So I've gone ahead and painted another knob dried it and I'm prepping the surface with the sandpaper in both directions just like I did before. So I'm going to repeat the steps. Go ahead and place it in the center here. Make sure it's lined up nicely. You're going to ink it, making sure that you press down only in the center of it. You don't want to get it on the outside rim. That makes for too much work going back. You will go ahead and place it down and create your perfect impression. This is so cute. This house is adorable. Okay guys, this is so important. Remember this step because this is determines if your impression is crisp and clean. I just can't help myself. I'm gonna do one more. I'm spreading on a little bit of the licorice again over a knob that I tried. I didn't really care for it, so I'm doing it again. Again, scratching the surface because it's a brand new stamp. That is so important. It adds tooth, which makes the ink stick to it and not smear. I'm gonna get this one centered, lined up, and re-inked. Now this time, I'm not going to put the stamp onto the stamp pad, I'm gonna pat it down. I'm gonna add less to it, see what that looks like once we lift up. I definitely think this is the way to go. Look how perfect that came out, it is so pretty. I'm impressed guys. This is so much fun. I cannot wait for you guys to get your own. I'm unscrewing it because I can't help it. I'm going to do it one more time. Now on this one, I did decide to do a larger one. I just couldn't help myself. I love the stamp. It's very French. I'm going to use the same method where I'm patting it down and just be careful not to put too much on. 
you can still uh, get too much on and it will just be blurry and that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for crisp and clean. So here we go. Oh, this is so beautiful. I cannot wait to put these knobs on a dresser or an end table. These are so impressive. I hope you guys love it. This has been such a fun experience and I'm so happy you guys are here. They are just beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that thumbs up, subscribe so that I can continue to show you all of our new stuff. We look forward to hearing your comments and don't forget you can get all these supplies at www.beshiqedtreasures.com. Thank you for watching guys.